um, welcome to appliance tech tutorial um, on this video I will be explaining uh, this board this board is for a top loader washing machine um, it's for a DeFi DTL149 if you wanna become an appliance technician the technique that I will show in this video will be very helpful for you um, to do fault finding on this PC board whether you like it or not if you want to become an appliance technician you must do electronics otherwise if you're not doing electronics you will have a problem because top loaders they have PC boards front loaders they have PC boards that means if you're doing appliances um, on washing machine if you want if you don't want to do electronics then you will have to do only the 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 twin mates the twin tabs because they don't have boards they've got the the timers so you need to know electronics because even now the fridges are uh, domestic fridges they're using electronics so you need to know electronics whether you like it or not okay i got this board from a friend of mine I've got a video where I showed you guys how I repaired this board. Um, the board that I repaired, the problem with the transformer, the primary winding was shorted. So, um, how did I came to know that the primary winding was shorted? The reason was the fuse resistor was blown. So, I took it for granted. I just went and bought a fuse resistor. Oh, I didn't go and buy the fuse resistor. A friend of mine gave me this board and said he couldn't repair this board. Um, when I asked him what's the problem, he said the problem was with the IC at the back. So I didn't bother checking whether that was true. But all I know is even me, myself, when there is a problem to the IC, or to this IC I also cannot repair such board because I better to get this um, by the way you see if I can remove this thing and show you there on that IC there is no information there that can assist me to look for it even if there was an information I wouldn't bother ordering it because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I, I was going to be able to solder it there. So I don't know everything. But I know my story as an appliance technician. But I believe that out there there is someone smarter than me who can make um we can come with a solution for these things okay enough about that let's go to the video okay i will make a series of videos um concerning this board only um, so on this video we'll be discussing this portion only on the second video i think we'll be discussing this portion if time allows us the pump and also here and i think i will make um about i don't know how many videos but until this board is finished um the information that i will share on these videos will help you to do fault finding on any board that you come across whether it's for a top loader whether it's for a front loader as long as it's a board for a washing machine now on this board when I looked for a service manual of this board, I couldn't get it. I again, I believe that there's someone out there smarter than me who can who can um, Google and get the service manual for this DeFi. Um, in case you are that person, um, let me give you some information on this board. Where is the board number? Um, if we zoom, 
I don't know whether it can be seen. Yes, it can be seen. I think that's the information you need in order for you to be able to get um, the service manual for this board. Now to the video. When you don't get a service manual, let's say you just got this board and you didn't know where does life go and, when the, or, and where does neutral go. You think maybe here eh, or maybe here or maybe there. How do I know where does the supply go to every PC board of a washing machine? Whenever I see a mob, I know that neutral will go where the mob is connected. Neutral in life will go where the mob is connected. So I flip, let's flip it around. That's the move, and the move goes to this pin. So neutral or either life goes to this pin. We don't, we, we don't know yet where does life go. But where does life always go? In, on washing machines where the fuse is. So here to here, we had a fuse resistor. So instead of using a fuse, they use the fuse resistor. So life goes there. Is connected to the move to the fuse resistor and the capacitor. That's the capacitor at the back. So we start drawing live move um, capacitor and the fuse resistor, as you can see there. Um, from there, where do we go? Okay, after connecting the capacitor, we stack isolated. Um, but the fuse resistor connects us from here to here. So that means that life continues um, to here. What is this? This is the transformer. This is the primary winding of the transformer. That pin is just there, it's doing nothing. So um, life from the fuse resistor to the primary winding or to the input side of the transformer. Okay, now let us check neutral. Neutral is connected there um, to the move, to the capacitor, and then to here. What is that? Let's turn this around. That's the relay. So um, life also goes to the relay. So what type of a relay is this one? It's a four pin relay. Um, so on this relay, we've got this pin bit close here and that pin bit far from here. So these pins are not in line. So, but the other two pins, they are in line. So I don't know whether this is disturbing us. That's what they put on this washing machine board. As someone said, they don't want us to repair this board because they always put this thing on every part of the washing machine. Well, I think they, they, they just want to make sure that even when water gets where the board is, will not come and short these things. I don't think it's because they don't want us to repair them. Um, I know someone will argue with me and say, no, if they don't want, if they want us to repair these, why are they not selling us some components? Because some components for the washing machines are hard to find. Um, I would say that's because they are selling us the boards as replacements. <laughs> okay. Um, where were we? How did we get there? Okay. Neutral also comes to the move or to the move to the capacitor, then the relay, the four pin relay. So what I did with the relay, I just took the part number of the relay and I googled it. So that's how our relay is internally. There is a coil and there is a contact. So I think when this coil gets electricity, it pushes that pin and connect us to this side and connect this pin. Um, so this pin, we need to know where it goes because when this is powered, that pin must give us electricity or an output. To wherever it's going so um when this primary winding is shorted 
when this primary winding is shorted, the fuse resistor will blow because um, we will be putting life in neutral through that fuse resistor. So we will also have a problem when this cap is shorted. We will also have a problem when the move is shorted. Um, though that does not always happen in most cases, um, it's this guy that blows the fuse resistor. So on every washing machine that I've came across, um, the input circuit or the protection circuit is the same. Like on this one, if we don't know where does life go in neutral go, um, we see that we've got the move there. Then we've got the, the cap um, that should be the relay. So we'll just flip it around and see if that's the move. Okay, that is the move. So uh, where is this? We just look there. Okay, this one. Then connected to the move. Um, then this one. Then we trace. After we've seen where the move is connected and that cap is connected, we know that's our live and that's our neutral. Then we connect it again. Here is the IC on this one. So when this is, is a problem, I cannot repair this thing also. Um, do I have another board with me? Yes, I've got another board. So on this board, if we don't know where does neutral go and where does um, life go, we check for a move and the, and the cap. So if we flip this around, um, this should be a move. Um, so, um, uh, and the other one should be the ceramic cap, I think. That should be the relay. Um, so these are the pins and if you can look carefully this pin is connected to that pin and this pin is connected to this pin and they all so they come here and we've got that one that goes there uh, that's a, that one goes to the relay so on this one it seems like our live and neutral will go here, either live or neutral. But um, what we've learned from this board, um, we can apply to any board to check where does live go and where does neutral go. It's easy. It's easy like that. As, as you can, as you have seen that on this one, um, we did manage to figure that um, our supply should go there and I think if we supply there this board should turn on but this board still has a, a lot to be prepared on uh, actually this board I'm not gonna repair it I'm just taking parts on this board because when the washing machine came here um, it had a problem with the motor, um, so the motor bent this board. So it was expensive to repair, so I took it just for spares. That was it for this video. See you another video when we discuss this portion. Maybe on the second video we'll be discussing this portion and this portion. Thank you.